Let's see, what does Clara has to say about this place? Uh, no voiceover? Okay. Lord Almighty, oh Lord, oh Lord. Trembling with fear and anxiety, Clara furtively examines herself. Remind her both you are alive, so everything will be alright. Attempt to calm her, she's not wounded and she'll be alright. Attempt to calm her. The blue indignantly... Indi Dignantly <laughs> throws her hands in the air. All right. No, we're not all right. We were damn near killed. She peeks carefully out from behind the engine compartment. The turrets are aimed at us. If we run, we're as good as dead. What do we do? Uh, tell her to fire up the engine and drive straight for the entrance. Ask her derisively if God himself could help you. Suggest she wait there while you handle the turrets and, turrets and get help. Tell her you have no idea what to do. Um, yeah, stay put. I'll try to get help. Morgan regards you for several moments. You can't tell if her eyes are filled with horror, awe, or hope. Maybe a mix of all three. I'll be praying for you. She, repri she replies after a lengthy pause. Where are these turrets she's talking about? Ah, there they are. Right, these ones. Uh, not too bad. Alright, there are more up here. There's a manhole down here. Uh, blue wing employee. Plumbing crew closet key card. Pass card in a thin aluminium case. It smells funny. <laughs> uh, weapon parts. So yeah. Closet key card. Uh, let's see what could go down here. Can we actually? Yeah. Let's check what this Blackwing employee has for us. Security keycard. Quest not judging by the tag. This keycard is needed to control the turrets at the Nashville parking lot. Good. We'll need that. The third over here. Uh, let's see. Another manhole. I'm guessing we can use this to. Oh, it actually takes us. Let's see. A couple of blues told me some amazing things. According to them, there are creatures living in, in the Nashville facility sewers whom they call shit goblins. They steal tools, ruin equipment and fling sewage around. Oh. But they can also lead you to, hidden, to a hidden cache if you leave canned food out for them. And if you treat them kindly with a bottle of beer, they'll even fix your broken equipment. Their presence can be recognized by barely audible swearing. Truly wondrous is the folklore of these simpletons. So it is pretty nice that this game remembers uh, before and after you uh, transition from area to area that you were actually stealthed. In a lot of games you just lose your stealth right away. Yeah, we're kind of stuffing around without much of a uh, reason. Nothing found. Uh. So. Yeah, I'm guessing. Using a lockpick increases your lockpicking skill to 110 instead of 95. But this only has a uh, required ability rank of 30. So, um, but I thought that maybe you would lose less fatigue when you would use a lockpick, but that doesn't seem to be a. Th no still get fatigued as much by picking locks. Um, actually 
actually don't know if we'll be going there because this just seems like another way up. No, we could actually go down back there. Acid Roach. We could sneak up on them, try to hit that uh, barrel. Letter to the main entrance. Secret discovered. Ventilation access key. Yeah, we don't have that. Ventilation key. Skylar, Trey and others. After reading this note, leave it in a conspicuous place. Many newcomers have joined our team lately and not everyone knows where the tools, access cards and keys are. As for the ventilation shaft key, I have it. And so it's to be used under my supervision only. If I discover any secret copies of this key, it means someone is getting fired. Benito Vinci. So... Should hold an eye out for Benito. Well, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I'd hoped. Um, I have a little bit of spring allergies going on. Let's see. shame venomous spit yeah these guys are pretty tough it seems nausea and he healed himself this is bad nope this won't work let's load Stun grenade, maybe a Molotov cocktail. How do we? Ah, let's try. See if it it's effective or not. Nope. Um. Uh, So our hit chance is still pretty high. Can we hit all three? No. Well that surely was effective. And we can hit this one twice, so maybe. Yes. Still fire. Ouch. That's a shame. Uh, let's see. Let's eat something. The dude. 
didn't do a whole lot. Heated beans. Did a little bit. Let's check some soda. Uh, Well, let's leave it for now. Flatulence? No. <laughs> minus two charisma, minus two deafness. That's a hell of a uh, debuff there. Acid roach. Cockroach leg. Egg. Oh, you can eat those. Doesn't a small mic white cockroach larvae wiggle sleepily within their chitinous sheath? Sounds unpleasant but quite edible if boiled first. Uh, uh, well, let's take it, but uh, it doesn't sound very. It doesn't sound very appealing. Cockroach eye. I know you snack for either real gourmets or deranged twisted individuals yeah that sounds about right huh. well I was hoping for some cool loot, but sadly, there was none. Oh. That one. Okay. Well, we got exploration experience. Nothing. Nothing. That's a stack of equipment. Terminal. Access denied. Andromeda, high tech weapon energy pistol. Airplane. Right, we've already found some of those. Take it. It's in here. Locked. Uh, yeah. We can pick that. We are a safe cracker. High tech weapon flamethrower. Fuel ventilation access key found it. High tech weapon technical manual allows to perform upgrade of high tech weapons. Rifle cartridges and rifle bullets. Empty. Some more hacking software. Can we maybe use that on a terminal? Uh, hacking. Yeah. An old computer drones. Sleepily on an empty desk covered in a coffee covered in, covered in coffee cup rings. Main menu user page greetings Benito. Please select an option from the following menu. Mail open mail, save open, open the maintenance screw safe. Well we did that already or log out. 
yeah we can't uh, use the save open option anymore enter mail the query executed message appears the, e the emails are listed below the heading above the command line proudly declares that this mailbox belongs to the plumbing crew so well this is kind of a alternate timeline but I'm trying to think when was the first email sent I it, it, I think it was the 70s but I'm not sure but yeah they have emails apparently in this universe I, even though it's 1976 um, let's see read one to read the animal email about key two to read the email about weapons and cockroaches three to read a strange email to read the strange email let's read that one please don't ignore my calls I'm feeling very feeling pretty low right now I constantly dream of pizza don't laugh but these dreams are very frightening I must I must be sick whenever I fall asleep I cannot simply wake up I have to exit the sleep like literally find a door and open it and only then do I wake up for three days in a row I've been looking for the door longer each time Benito I'm imagining pizza delivery guys today I saw two on the residential floor and one in the office I'm still trying to understand was I dreaming or not <laughs> pick up the phone next time I call okay So this is the email about the uh, key. The commission arrived just now and I got screwed because of your laziness. Here's a reminder. The exit to the station must be masked. The door to the air shaft in the western sector that leads to station level 1 must be locked. That's one we have to, to the, the key to now I think. The key must be stored in the safe, not in a, not in a mark on your desk, not in your pocket in the safe. Do what needs to be done immediately, Benito. The next time I get screwed over because of you, I'll personally personally screw you. Uh, read the email about weapons and cockroaches. With the cockroaches, Mitch complained the, that so many critters had spawned there, he couldn't deal with it. So, oh hang on. From Emmett O'Reilly to Benito Vinci. Kara and I picked up some guns from the armory yesterday and went down to help you guys deal with the cockroaches. Mitch complained that so many critters had spawned there he couldn't deal with it. So here's a note, you can mow them down with bullets, but the fl flamethrowers are like fire to them. That's a pun, it's kinda dumb, huh? Right. Their shells don't protect them from the heat at all. For the same reason, energy weapons only affect them in thermal mode. But they're very resilient to a regular energy beam. P.S. Get well, man. Let's reread that strange email since we can. Uh, so this mail was from Elizabeth Nadasdi. I'm sorry, okay? Please don't ignore my calls. Okay. Uh, menu to return to the menu. We got all we could out of that. Log out. And we did in fact just find a uh, flamethrower, did we not? Firebug. Huh. So maybe we could try that to the, uh, the cockroach next time. Let's see what else is around here. We are here. Letter to generator. To loading dock. To main entrance. Uh, let's. No, nothing here. Well, the letters. The, to the surface but if 
we pay here? This is where we came from, right? Yeah, this is where we started. Let's go up here. Nope. So let's just try. Oh, hang on, we should reload our gun actually. So now we're walking around with the gun in our hands, but if we click this, yeah, she puts it away. Okay. Good to know. Okay, now we have the access key, so let's have a look in here. The ventilation shaft is filled with the thick stench of a sewer. Though, as you crawl forward, the smell is gradually replaced with the sharp scent of quartz. It's dark in here. But you can see a round grill at the end of the shaft, and yellow lamplight beyond. You crawl a bit farther, and battering the grill down, climb into a utility tunnel with a metal ladder leading upward. It looks like the external access of an elevator shaft. After climbing some 20 meters, you come to a trap door. You push the lid open, and find a short passage leading right to the elevator platform. You crawl into the dimly lit elevator platform, and when you raise your head, spot a woman standing in the corner. Hmm. I, uh, I'm getting uh, Resident Evil vibes here. Let's uh, examine her more closely. You examine the chevron on her jacket sleeve. Apparently she's one of those responsible for the Nashville site excavation. Your eyes are drawn to her hands where dozens of tiny lights are moving under her skin with a faint twinkle. Uh, let's wait a bit. You stand silently for some time, leaning against the elevator fencing. The strange woman suddenly turns, her eyes wide open. In them, you see brightly glowing white rings around the iris. There's a thud. Something heavy falls down behind you, making the cabin shudder. You reflexively jump <coughs> aside, and just in time, a body lands where you were standing a moment ago with an unpleasant crunch. And then another one, right next to it. People begin to fall onto the elevator platform from the darkness of the shaft above. The Attention. elevator platform Attention. is shaking. A speaker on the wall comes alive. Caution, overload. Please vacate the platform. Caution, overload. Please vacate. The strained overhead cable snaps with a blaring twang. You fail to leap from the platform in time. It plummets, whatever remains of its emergency braking mechanism screeching unbearably. Uh, what should we use, our deafness skill or our survival skill? Uh, let's do survival. You lay down on the elevator floor to soften the blow as much as possible. The elevator car comes to a sudden halt as it crashes into something soft with a loud splash. Faint emergency lights illuminate a heap of torn limbs and crushed torsos smeared on the floor. The smell of blood is thick in the air. You stagger to your feet. The elevator door opens onto a dark corridor. You have arrived at your destination. Welcome to Nashville. If there were as many civilians cameras in London as in the Nashville facility, crime would disappear entirely. I've never felt so safe. Everything here is based on sound principles of design and organizations. Elevator never gets stuck. Blackwing is always polite and competent. And the walls are thick enough to withstand an atomic blast. Fortunately, there's no one to go to war with. Right, if there were as many civilian 
surveillance cameras in London as in the Nashville facility. So this place has a lot of cameras. So I'm actually a bit Now again, I'm wondering if I skipped ahead a bit, because I was really trying to disable the turrets. So I'm wondering if maybe I should reload and try to get back to... Uh, try to get back to... Uh, well, topside, really. Might have missed something. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Because uh, we can just skip through this uh, little sequence here. Let's see if we can help Morgan out before we go any deeper. Shiv, a crowbar, and another uh, Techno Woman comic book, issue. comic book issue. Let's take those. Uh, let's skip those. Com link. That might be interesting. That eye is turning red, which is a bit... No, it's going yellow again. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, it does less damage. But it has... It hold, a magazine holds more bullets. And if it crits, the crits are do more damage. And a taser. Let's uh, switch. Let's switch for now. Bobby, where the hell are you? Over. Bo you pick up the dead soldier's walkie-talkie. The walkie-talkie is silent. Asks when he can when he can hear you. Uh. Right. Can anyone hear me? You hold the transition mut button and ask your question. There's no reply. The walkie-talkie is silent. You put the device on the ground and leave. That's a shame. How fast do they see us? Let's check. Just gonna pick it up without really looking.
think we'll be able to get past. We did okay, it seems. Ammunition box. Shotgun pellet. Pistol bullet. We can make a shiv. Well, rifle bullets, pistol bullets. Yeah, we need those. Craft maximum. Uh, so that is just the bullet. Or is that the entire thing? Uh, don't really care though. Let's make what we can. Yeah, so these are the cartridges. So we only have 15 black powder and we have not enough casings really. Well, we have 20, but. So yeah, we can't make too many. 15. No. Don't really feel the need to make shifts. Let's see if we can use this generator for something. A constant quiet buzz and some mechanical noise can be heard from behind the half open door of the grey generator vault covered with colourful warning signs. A couple of thick cables lying on the wet grass lead to the turrets at the entrance of Nashville. Use your technical know-how to overload the generator. Let's do that. Oh. The generator is equipped with... Uh, the generator is equipped with power down protection. So you... So you just short a couple of contacts. The generator gives up sparks together with nasty screeching and turns off. So what did that do? Right. You overloaded the transformer, causing a short circuit. Turrets relying on this power source are now disabled. Cool. Upon your arrival, you, dis you discovered a disastrous situation in Nashville base. Defense turrets were set to hostile mode, attacking everything in range, and the parking lot was strewn with corpses. Ah. So these are done. Too bad they only have rifle bullets, not handgun bullets. Locker key, instant coffee, cups with guns magazine. That is something we can probably use. Take those. Yep, take all the bullets. This one's empty as well. Shut off, I should say. Let's see. What's in here? Taser, shear blade, cigarettes. Bandages, antidote. Medkit. Instant physical re regeneration agent developed by Maximon Company comes with an injector for quick consumption, but be careful as the active agent is toxic with potential long term side effect. Okay. Ah, thought we might have the uh, key to that one. But Reason, hand to hand, brass knuckles. Fisman comic book issue. 
Head and weapons tactical manual. Hmm. Allows to perform upgrade of knuckles or combat glove. Yeah, we don't have any use for that. Control panel. Boxes. Let's see about this. Some ammo. Control panel. Doors creaking open. What doors? I'm hearing something moving, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh well. This turret is shut down. I think most of them were rel relying on the power of the generator, so. Ah, we leveled up. Let's, uh, let's check actually. Twenty for a criminal. Psychic resistance twenty. Precision plus twenty in stealth. Hmm. Evasion plus ten at night. Regeneration plus ten. Both yours and yours compa yours and your companions. Hermit. Nah. Treasure hunter. The chance of a lucky find is doubled. Detection time plus three seconds while you are not wearing any armor. Relic slots plus one. Guts plus one. Huh. Oh yeah, we were trying to get piloting up to 30 at least. Should do that. The ability to survive a head-on collision with an enemy vehicle. The ability to drive cars, scooters, motorcycles, as well as sweepers and other small vehicles. Yeah, that seems pretty useful. The ability to run over living creatures on the road. Uh, so yeah, there's a servo shell that looks like there's power armor in this game. Uh, let's see, what do we get at 90? Handgun ability, 3 shots. Submachine gun ability, devastating burst, faithful shot, shotgun ability, disarming shot. That is pretty handy. Saved AP plus three. That's not too bad either. Oh, we didn't get a perk, it seems. That's a shame. So I'm not really sure when perks... Do you get the first one at level 3? So maybe again at level 6? And then level 9? Level 12? Maybe it's like that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to get after to focus on really charisma personal reputation plus 20 right we should do some more scanning
So this Maybe survival isn't really worth it to invest much more. Let's uh, leave it at this for now. Let's figure those other ones out later. Another manhole. Towards back there. Okay, we have to go all the way around. So let's talk to Morgan first. She which she which she has planned now that she's uh, no longer in the line of fire. Clara sits beside her truck track, arms wrapped around her knees. She's mumbling a prayer. Tell Clara the turrets aren't dangerous anymore. She can leave if she wants. For her mission here is accomplished. The blue gives you a confused look. I've got liabilities. By liabilities I mean I mean that glancing back at Nashville and the stormy sky above, she falters and ducks her head into her shoulders. God bless you. I'll try to find a car and drive away from here as you as you suggested. You're not going to take the truck. No, I guess not. Empty. Right. Oh. Actually, can we still talk to you? Hang on. Yes, I wanna. Morgan walking slowly across the parking lot stops and looks at you. Take care of yourself. He won't leave you. All right. There's a mixture of shame and pity in her gaze. Do you have any money on you? <laughs> Just one. Ah. No. Okay, you can go. Goodbye. That doesn't help me very much now, does it? Oh, hang on. Did we search that one? Those ammunition box. We'll have those. Let's see. Yep, that is just better than what we got. Actually, that reminds me, I don't think I ever switched out the shoes that I found. Nope. Let's do that and let's. Switch out our hats. So I'm guessing um, 
So when something has a green shade, it's slightly better than the kind of grayish ones. Grayish ones. And then there are these bluish ones. Yeah, I think those are kind of named. Yeah. Named weapons and items. Then you have these ones. Yeah, I think it's uh, kind of your uh, kind of uh, what would you say? MMO rarity system. Light on the panel. The lights on the panel are off. Right, we turned off the power. Control panel, manual. So yeah, we've been pretty much everywhere. Let's see if we can use No, time doesn't progress when we have the map open. Nope. Let's use the main elevator door. Are there any bodies around here that we didn't check, maybe? Well, still some more bullet bullets. No. I got that one. Let's try this one. Nashville's main elevator doors open with a drawn out screech. A harsh smell comes from the dim, dirty compartment. The smell reminds you of a quartz lamp. As you step onto the elevator mm. platform, you mm -hmm. notice a woman in silver wing uniform. She's standing in the corner, facing the wall, head down. Illusion of choice. Uh, yeah, let's wait again. You stand silently for some. You reflect there we go the again. elevator platform, the strained overhead cage will lay down on the elevator. You staggered. There we have it. We're in Nashville facility again. Same exact spot.